available for step 18. Copy, Houston, we are go for step 18. European Space Agency astronaut Frank DeWinna acknowledging uh, that the green light has been given for final approach by the HTV. Now you're looking at uh, downlink television from cameras on the International Space Station. There is the H2 transfer vehicle. Uh, it does not have solar array wings like uh, the Progress uh, vehicles uh, or the Soyuz vehicles or the automated transfer vehicle for that matter. It's a solar array, some 57 solar array panels are wrapped around the hull of the vehicle. Station Houston on two for Bob and cameras. Go ahead, Houston on two. Bob, we just lost the MPC video. It could be batteries, could be anything, but we everything looks good. We just don't have any image coming down. And a bevy of activity inside the uh, Destiny Laboratory of the International Space Station. Uh, Nicole Stott and Frank DeWinna on the right. Uh, Bob Thursk back-to-back uh, -back with Stott uh, and uh, Expedition 20 Commander Gennady Padalka on the left. Uh, Stott and uh, DeWinna are uh, the leads for the uh, robotics and the HTV systems operations. Thursk backing Stott up as far as the uh, Canadarm2 grapple operations are concerned. Once the grapple is uh, confirmed, uh, then they will swap places and Bob Thursk then will be the lead uh, for the berthing of the HTV to the Earth-facing port of the Harmony Connecting Node. Station Houston on two for Bob. That worked. We have great video back. Thanks. In this view, uh, through uh, the HD multi-protocol converter system on board the International Space Station, uh, shows you the same view on a laptop computer, basically, that uh, Nicole Stott and Bob Thursk and Frank DeWinna are viewing as uh, they have uh, the HTV in the uh, inner capture envelope, basically. Uh, this is the box that we were talking about a moment ago that shows uh, the range uh, between the HTV and the International Space Station and the correct orientation in a three-dimensional computer program.